Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is about how you can pull off a bow tie. Many men look at bow ties and wonder, can I wear this accessory? It makes them uncomfortable at first and they simply don't know what to do. The answer is unequivocally yes. No matter how old you are, what position you're in, what your level of style is, you can pull this off if you know how to tie it and a few more details. It's not just for professors or doctors or men of a certain age category or an income level. It's moreover an accessory that can work for anyone because it can be very flattering and it makes you stand out from the crowd. When I started to get interested in dressing well, I prefer ties. I was a little hesitant about bow ties because I didn't know whether they would flatter me and what people would think of me. I also liked that, especially during the summertime, my body didn't overheat as quickly because I didn't have the additional layer of fabric that a tie provides. Also, women and men complimented me much more frequently and I realized that bow ties were really something that I should wear more often. I have a huge bow tie collection that's just as big as my regular necktie collection and for every time I wear a bow tie, I probably wear a tie once or twice. So why should you wear a bow tie? First of all, it signals to others that you care about your outward appearance and that you're willing to do something about it. Because so many other men do not wear a bow tie, it makes you instantly stand out in a positive way because it shows that you put some thought into your outfit and how you want to be perceived. On top of that, it really expands your outfit opportunities because a bow tie just creates a very different look for the outfit. For example, if I'd wear this outfit with a tie, it'd look entirely different. The great advantage is a bow tie is even less expensive than a regular tie because it uses less fabric. And so you can easily change the look of your existing wardrobe with just the addition of a few more bow ties. A bow tie looks great with a formal double-breasted suit or it can also work with single-breasted suits and a tweed jacket like in this instance. So here is how you pull up a bow tie. First of all, if you don't have one already, you should think about getting a more classic subdued bow tie because the bow tie itself is more vivid and loud. Therefore, I suggest to go with something in navy or red because they're the first most common neckwear colors for men. It's essential that your bow tie is self-tied because a pre-tied bow tie looks very symmetrical and it shows. So everybody can tell that you pre-tie your bow tie and it either implies that you don't know how to do it, but overall it just cheapens the look and it gives yourself a negative appearance. So if you wear a bow tie, tie it yourself. If you don't know how to tie it, please check out this video here that has helped hundreds of thousands of men to tie the bow tie every single time. It takes a little practice, but you can do it too. Once you have a bow tie in classic colors, you can expand and look at something like a houndstooth pattern, such as the one I'm wearing here, or you can go for a shantung stripe, such as the ones over here. Other classic patterns include glen check, small checks, or polka dots. To start, I suggest you try pairing it with a navy blazer. A blazer in itself is not the most formal garment and it's often worn with khakis or gray flannel pants. You can wear it with a white shirt or a light blue shirt. The solid dark background is the perfect stage to try something new, such as wearing a bow tie. If you're not so big into jackets, you can also wear it with just a sweater and a shirt and a bow tie. If you want to wear a bow tie to the office, it looks particularly handsome with a double-breasted dark suit. Wearing a bow tie and having it tied yourself gives you more confidence and it shows in the way you walk and present yourself. Also, in certain situations, it can be much more helpful. For example, when you eat, you're not going to stain your ties anymore because your bow tie sits further up. Or if you're a doctor, you're not going to touch your patients when you lean in. That's the reason why a lot of doctors wear bow ties, by the way. When you buy a bow tie and you're just starting out, I suggest you get one that is 
adjustable to your neck size. That way you can experiment with it and you can look at the size of the knot you like and the size of the bow tie because if you get a fixed neck size, you may not be happy with the look and it's not something that you want to be stuck with. All of our colored bow ties are size adjustable. Only our formal ones are fixed to the neck size and you can determine what your neck size is by simply measuring your neck. Otherwise, you can check them out in our Fort Belvedere web shop. We have a great selection. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help. When you pick a bow tie, you use the same principles of pattern matching as you would with a tie. You want it to be different and contrasting, and the pattern shouldn't be similar in size to your jacket or your shirt. For example, here I have a houndstooth. It's a rather large houndstooth. It's a bourrette silk, which gives the outfit some texture. I'm pairing it with a brown tweed coat and a pastel yellow-orange dress shirt. In this combination here, we have a green jacket and we pick up some of the tones of the green in the bow tie, so it ties it all together. And then we have this kind of mini houndstooth pattern in blue, white, and green. That way, the patterns are distinctly different in size and the entire look harmonizes well together. Avoid wearing a bow tie that is just solid with a solid shirt and a solid jacket because it just looks dull. Especially when you wear it casually, try to add at least one pattern to your outfit to break up the monotonous look of just solids. If you enjoyed this video, please sign up to our free newsletter here and you get videos like this right to your inbox. Thank <laughs> you.